married for 13 years now. It really started out very coincidental that we had these common research interests even before we met. And now that we've met, what is really a lot of fun is that our common interests have evolved together. We do talk a lot about science, but we're also both alpha personalities. <laughs> Neither one of us are the leader. We're very much collaborators. I think like a guy. <laughs> she thinks like a girl. I, my fun and games is outside uh, doing heavy gardening, creating ecosystems. Andrea is a musician. Yeah, so I've been a musician my whole life. I started playing the piano when I was four, and I started playing the violin when I was eight. And I think they've been a very important part of my life, but also one of the reasons why I think I'm successful in my career. I think it's extremely important that people understand that we're living in an environment that is permanently contaminated. So all of us have body burdens of these chemicals. That has changed us profoundly as beings, animals and humans. And we need to understand how we have been changed. Because how we respond to our environment because we've been changed is very different from the way a person re responded to the environment, say, in 50 years ago. What we're doing in the laboratory is really a perfect model for understanding how the kinds of exposures that we have as humans are affecting our brains and our bodies. 